Hi, and welcome to another edition of BRE TV. I'm Alistair Morrison, and I'm joined with me today by Dominic Morrison. How are you, Dominic? That was a very loud introduction, Alistair. Clear, but very loud. So I'll just lower the tone a little bit. Um, and I sound like Big Kevin, and I'm very yeah. excited. Not and why wouldn't I be excited, Dominic? It's an unbelievable real estate market, so there's everything to be excited that's about. That's true. That no, we're all excited. It's been an interesting year, hasn't it? All the um, expected ups and downs, but it's just been a pretty steady uh, incline um, uh, all throughout the year and it's gone gotten to a point now where we're in the middle of spring and it's just been uh, incredible results everywhere. Unbelievable, the ROV quarterly, uh, quarterly results just came out and it showed Ballarat uh, has uh, had price growth over the last 12 months of uh, in excess of 6%. So who would have thought, you know, at the start of the, uh, the COVID situation that we would have been experiencing price growth across Ballarat and indeed most suburbs of Ballarat recording price growth over this quarter and the quarter prior to it. It's really quite amazing, isn't it? It is, and I think it's only the start. Um, obviously, we uh, have a lot of experience and deal with, uh, have, have dealings in real estate every day and, and we know it, but even when you talk to um, other people in the industry, uh, buyers, advocates, um, conveyances, solicitors, they're all saying that, that they think this is just the start of the growth that we're seeing in Ballarat. And we've known that for a long time, but um, the buyers are certainly in a position now where they're, they're trying to snap up properties everywhere. Absolutely. I think, you know, a lot of people said to us at the start, particularly when Melbourne went into lockdown, oh, does this mean the, the local real estate market's going to be quite a result? And in fact, what's actually happened is absolutely boomed over this period of time. There were a couple of days there we were a bit worried, wondering what would happen, but we've been blown away. Absolutely yeah. blown away. And it's been really interesting to hear that perhaps competitors in our marketplace have been telling vendors not to sell at this period of time um, because they didn't think that Melbourne buyers would be here. And I just wonder how many vendors have missed out on some absolutely spectacular prices in a huge market yeah. over this period of time that actually could have got a, a result well in excess of their expectations. Yeah. So while no doubt it's difficult for Melbourne buyers to attend properties in Ballarat, impossible really, unless they've got a family member here, um, which is what people are doing a lot, having a family member or a friend come and inspect the property. So a local inspect the property for them and do a video call. Um, I've sold a number of properties in the last couple of months by me doing the video video call uh, and then often they'll get a building inspection just to give themselves that extra level of comfort. Um, so we are still transacting properties to Melbourne buyers, um, but there's local buyers everywhere as well. Everywhere. Investors, first home buyers have taken their opportunity to get into the market. Um, so uh, I think sometimes um, people can uh, pigeonhole who they think is gonna buy their property and, and pay the great price. Um, it can be anyone, and that's what we try and do at Ballarat Real Estate is make sure every type of buyer sees the property, and, and the more eyes on the property will drive the price up. That's why we get the best prices. Absolutely do, and I think the results are, are what people can clearly see on the sales results from realestate.com.au, and they can see just by the boards as they're driving around town that the results are absolutely there to be got. Um, even from a property management uh, point of view, talking to our, our, our property management team, that are clearly the number one team in Ballarat by a country mile. Um, the ROV reported a vacancy rate of 1.9%, which is extraordinarily low. It means that there's a real lack of supply from a rental point of view. So investors should be absolutely entering the market while they can now. But our vacancy rate at the office is closer to 1%, so we're half that again. It just means there's hardly anything around from a tenant point of view even. So not only is there massive pressure from, uh, pressure from a buyer point of view, not much stock around, so great prices for sellers, but also from a rental point of view, there's not much stock around for tenants and some really great growing rentals, uh, growing rental prices for landlord as well. All, all, the, all the key indicators are really positive because um, you know, uh, buyers can see that you know vacancy rates really low, so they're always going to get a tenant. Um, and then uh, investors, well, money's almost free to Absolutely. borrow at the moment with yeah. interest rates where they are. Um, so everything, uh, and, and I guess the future's quite rosy for people in Ballarat because naturally there's going to be um, once Melbourne is released from restrictions, there's going to be an extra push of buyers out of, Mal out of Melbourne. Now they can, they know they can work from home. They're going to live in Ballarat um, and, and, and maybe um, uh, work remotely um, to, to their Melbourne work. So um, everything is, is pushing prices up. 
Um, so it's a bright future um, and, and, and sellers, if they've got any thoughts of selling, um, now is really the time to get moving. Absolutely, you got the back end of October, November and December to get it done. And uh, this is a peak time. This is the spring, uh, spring real estate market. It's when lots of property trans, uh, properties transact. It's when buyers want to transact. They want to sell and uh, buy now so they can tr transition either before or just after Christmas 100%. before the school we're goes back. We're doing a lot of December, middle of December settlements. We're doing a lot of middle of January settlements. So you can sort of take your pick. Some people like the idea of being in a new place ready for Christmas. Some people want to have their last Christmas in their old home, so either way. You'd probably have to get to having the conversation now, though I think if you're sitting there thinking we probably want to do something, you really probably really need to get onto the conversation Next about where months. it's at. Yeah. But we're having some amazing results, as Dom alluded to earlier. The sole prices that we're getting are really some mind-blowing results and lots of competition for lots of properties. In fact, uh, we had a great- well, How did one of yours find it to the top of that list? Top, of the, top of the list, a great result at 127 Victoria Street in Ballarat East. A beautiful period home, uh, really good interest in that property, strong interest in that property, and it makes total sense because it's in a fantastic spot. A uh, pity it's undisclosed because it was a really good result. Huge result. Uh, but we'll honour our uh, clients' privacy there. For sure. And for Web Connor Parade is a great result also. No, no, secret, no secret there. It's out there in uh, black and white. Uh, uh, everywhere to be seen. 390500 Huge result in under a week for four Web Connor. Three bedroom brick veneer. 390,500 in work on a parade, great, great result. I had to pick myself up off the floor when Jay Calagrakis told me what he got for 13 Love New Grove in Ballarat East, $527,500. If you wondered whether we actually push for the best possible price, you can be absolutely sure that we do that from the result at Love New Grove. Under a week, Grove. that result achieved. There. Under, under a week, I just repeat, $527,500. Magnificent result there for Jay. Uh, likewise at 712 Laurie Street, Mount Pleasant, a great result there for Brian T. 420,000 for a, a little weatherboard in Mount Pleasant. Uh, I think Brian got another great result for another little weatherboard there um, in, in maybe Gladstone Street recently. So Brian's probably the only man to see uh, in, in Mount Pleasant at the moment. He's got a very good database which he manages meticulously. Yep. Um, so if you've got a property in Mount Pleasant, Golden Point, uh, Ballarat Central, all those areas, Redan, um, you can call Brian, he may even have someone ready to go. Very strong agent, very strong agent. Uh, likewise, is a very, uh, very dominant agent is uh, uh, Joe Thornton. She got a super result at 45 Eastwood Street in ba Bakery Hill. 595. 595, um, great money there. Yeah. Yep. 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 Beautiful renovation, but uh, the, the buyer is lucky to be picking that one up. But yeah, close to 600, great result. Close to everything. Um, New stock coming in, which is good to know because there is a shortage of supply. So sellers are wise to get on market now while there is a shortage of supply, but we do have some good stock. In fact, we're listing far more than any other agency in Ballarat. You know, sellers are choosing to list with Ballarat Real Estate because they see their results on the board. So we have got some stuff replacing the stuff that we're selling for buyers that are nervous that there's nothing going to be going to be nothing to buy soon. Uh, two on Campbell's Crescent. I don't think you'll have any problems with that, Dominic. No, beautiful um, triple fronted brick veneer in a good quiet street. Uh, well priced, four ninety five to five thirty. I sold a two bedroom weatherboard for mid five hundreds um, uh, a couple of months back. So this is great buying. Two hundred one Campbell's Crescent, three bedroom brick veneer. Um, give me a call about that one. Blaze didn't have to say anything other than Grammar Street to know that it was going to go gangbusters. But fourteen Grammar Street, right near by Grammar, obviously being Grammar Street, will just go out of this world this weekend. I think it's gone. So Josh, you better get this video up really quickly so buyers can maybe have a small chance of picking that one up, 14 Grammar Street. Um, Blaze is doing really well in the Wendery area as well. You got a good result there for a property in uh, Creswick Road. But Dave's quickly uh, snatched another property at uh, Creswick Road being, Creswick Road being 143 Creswick Road. is still up and Dave's got a new listing already up. So we are replacing them quickly. That's right. But at 143 Creswick Road is a great period home uh, in a good right. central location. I don't think you'll have that for very long either. Uh, uh, Alex Stepnell has got one Lorith Court, Sebastopol. Yep, so it's a three bedroom brick veneer, mid 300s, 
It's going to suit a lot of people who will have no problems there. None at all. And likewise, uh, Brian Tiso won in Greenhouse Road uh, uh, recently, but uh, Damien Larkin managed to snatch seven Greenhouse Road in Delacombe. And Delacombe, as we know, is just the new epicenter of Ballarat with all the facilities and services out there. And you just have to see the growth that's happening out of Delacombe. So to be in Greenhouse Road, really great spot. 100%. Similar to, to Alex's listing there in Lorith. Damo's got a three bedroom brick veneer that's really popular. Uh, it was mentioned, uh, interesting when we talk about replacing properties and uh, a sold sticker being up and a, a new sales sign going up. Uh, it's getting to the point now our strength in the market, buyers are literally not even looking at properties, they're just calling us to see what we've got. Yep. So not only um, is, is, is our name on, on, on Google, is our position of our office, the fact that we're open seven days. Um, the only one open seven days. The week. only one open seven days. Um, buyers now think, just because they see all our signs everywhere, well, why start looking for properties? We may as well just go where, where all the properties are. Um, so if you're looking at selling, what we say is list where the buyers go because the buyers come to us and then we'll direct them to your property. Absolutely, buyers want to go where the majority of the stock is at and that's why they're coming here first. So if you're a seller and you want to get maximum price because effectively competition delivers price, if you want competition for your property, you know where to head. We're very friendly as well, but we do get you a better price. You're sort of friendly, Dom. Not very friendly to me. <laughs> but anyway, thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching another edition of BOTV. You can see obviously we're very optimistic about where the market's at and where the market's heading. It's fantastic news for regional Victoria. It's fantastic news for Ballarat in particular. And we're looking forward to speaking with you again next time on BOTV where we're hopefully gonna have some even more fantastic news for you. Have fun.